It was a violent weekend in Dallas with at least four shootings that left three people dead and close to a dozen people hurt. Yeah, but when we narrow down here, it's a shooting that was near Fair Park in Dallas that has the police department there taking a closer look at their very own actions. Amelia McGavro live over at DPD headquarters with the investigation. So it bears the question, why are they doing that? Exactly, Doug and Nicole. Police Chief Eddie Garcia did tell us that the department is conducting that internal investigation to really look into how officers responded to this large party at Fair Park and whether they could have done more. Of course, we know the party uh, ended up in the shooting of eight people and killing one woman. And even a witness telling me she even saw the officers do very little to de-escalate the situation. I'm just really angry. I'm really angry with them, the police. A memorial now on the corner of Collins and Clarkson, where 21-year-old Carisha Bradford was shot and killed at a block party Sunday morning. And I cried because it's senseless. It's young kids out here killing each other. A witness who doesn't want her face shown says she saw a gun at the party and called 911, but claims at least eight other police cars came out to investigate and left without breaking up the crowd. That if y'all would have stopped, that would have been prevented. According to Dallas police, officers did respond to a shooting call at the party around 11 p.m. Investigators say when officers arrived, the shooting had stopped and officers stayed nearby monitoring the crowd. Police say around 1.30 a.m., shots were fired again, hitting eight people and killing the 21-year-old woman. Oh, but I heard the gunshots and it was, and I called 911. It sounded like a war zone, really. Alundra Lyon says the neighborhood is known as Mill City, and this type of crime is nothing new. She actually founded the Mill City Association to help reduce crime and large parties. And so we're working on vacant lots. We're working on reduction of crime. It's working, but we need our own police here that are here 24-7 to enforce, you know, people doing right. Now, the Mill City neighborhood and Carisha's family praying for justice. We all love her. We love her and we're going we're gonna to get to the bottom of this. Now, police tell us no additional arrests have been made or no arrests have been made in this case. I did reach out to Chief Eddie Garcia to make an interview today to really explain all of this, but we are told he will not make any additional comments until the internal investigation is complete. Live in Dallas, Amelia McGovro, CBS News, Texas.